Hey everyone, it's Rocket Rolling Stock. So today we're going to have a look at some Rocket Rolling Stock. And uh, to the left here we have got the new 2021 release of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway flatbed wagons. It's a free pack. And we're also going to take a look at the Liverpool and Manchester Railway open third class coach. This is a 2021 product and this is a 2020 product. I actually have three of these and I ordered them when they were uh, announced back in 2020. They've actually been sitting in a tub waiting to be reviewed but I've never got round to it till now. And now that these have arrived I thought it was best time to have a look at the both together. Since 2020, when the Rocket was re-released in its train pack form, both of the Triang and the Centenary Year editions, the question has been asked, are we going to see more in the way of very early locomotives? Well, I really do hope so, because Hornby have now supplied us with the third class open coach, and they've also supplied us with these flatbeds. Now, this is a 2021 release, and the 2021 release of the open third class here is a free pack similar to this. These are actually from the 2020 range. So what I think we'll do is we'll take a look at these ones very briefly first. So here we have one of my three of these items. If you have a look at the box, there we go. It's a nice, simple, ordinary box. Just looking at the actual item within the box from here, it looks incredibly delicate and it is. We've got its details there of R40141 Liverpool and Manchester Railway Open Third Class Coach. And as you can see there, it has the Railway Museum's logo there on the right. It's got the usual stuff on, there's nothing really important on the packaging on this, so we'll take this out. So, once out of the box, we have the Ice Cube packaging, and at the top, we have two yes, two and hopefully it'll focus in a bit, there we go, of these chain link couplings, which also look incredibly delicate. And they are something that uh, I feel that if you're gonna use these and you're gonna have these, that it's best to uh, put it on the layout and keep it there, not to keep undoing them. They are incredibly delicate. So putting the couplings to one side, you can see we are left with a coach. I'm going to take this out and then we'll have a look at it up close and personal. There we go. And let's see if we can zoom in a bit and get a better look. There we go. Hopefully we're going to maintain this focus. So as you can see, these are the size of my thumbs and my fingers, and they are right next to it. These are incredibly delicate. So I can understand last year in 2020 when people were complaining about steps and things falling off on their rocket packs, um, they need to be handled with extreme care. So as we can see here, we've got the three steps hanging down, which as I've said, are incredibly delicate. There is plenty of detail with the spring leaves and obviously the buffers are going through the chassis. Obviously they're not sprung, I, I would never imagine them to be sprung. Um, as we look there on the side, you can see the door handle details are picked out. There's some incredibly fine lining there on the side of the actual wagons. So we bring it round and then we can see the lining again front on with the buffers and you can see the hook there for your coupling chains to go between loco and other rolling stock and exactly the same on the other side in the top we can see there there are no seats so if you're traveling on this you're standing up um, I've seen some wonderful pictures on the internet where people have filled these up with their small model figures and it really does look nice underneath it's a couple of screws holding the chassis to the top nice metal freewheeling wheel sets there 
And that is about it. There's not much to say about these models, apart from the fact that they are stunningly beautiful. They really are nice. Um, and like I said earlier in the video, if Hornby are going to the extreme of producing nice bits of rolling stock like this to add to your rocket sets, begs the question, are we gonna start seeing some more locomotives? And there are a few out there that you could think of, in fact, Beamish Museum has a couple of replicas there of uh, locomotives. Whether or not they would be suitable for model form, I am not quite sure. So next up, let's have a look at the Rocket Flatbed Wagons. So here we have the 2021 release. This is the Liverpool and Manchester Railway Flatbed Wagon Pack, uh, consisting of three wagons. And it has to be said, it's in a very, very nice box. I like the way that they've manufactured this and the way it looks. You take the box and you just slide it out of the sleeve. So you get this wonderful looking outer sleeve showing you the wagons there. And on the back, we have got a nice little bit of history about what they would have been used for and everything like that and when they were introduced. So, there's the sleeve, bringing us to the box. Now I have actually opened this already. I have had a quick look at them when they arrived because I wanted to check that they were gonna be okay. So we've got a nice box, lovely picture on the back, similar to that as the sleeve. And you can see what's inside, although not brilliantly in this light. I have noticed more recently that Hornby's packaging is becoming somewhat more delicate to get into if you don't want to crease and break the cardboard. But as you can see here, or I hope you can, there is actually two bits left out of this foam so you can easily get a hold of the item inside. So, Unlike normal with your ice cube packaging and things like that, this is quite a rigid, firm foam, and it is obviously going to protect the items inside well. At the top here, there are three more sets of the couplings to go between each one of the wagons. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three, wagons inside now getting them out because obviously they are quite delicate luckily they've got gaps at the back so you should be able to just gently push and then the wagon should release So similar to our blue third class wagon, we're gonna take a really close look. And as you can see, and this is really close, you can see by the size of my fingers there at either side. Um, something that until on the camera, I hadn't really picked up with my own eyes. You can see on the chassis there, there is actually quite a huge amount of rivet detail running along. And for something so small, that really is amazing. Not to worry, this is just more packaging, incidentally, just in case you worried. Um, but there we go. You can see it also has the three steps on either side. Um, I can only assume that they use the same chassis as the uh, the actual coaches for these. But uh, you can see it's picked out as wooden timber all the way across the top. It is effectively the same chassis as that of this one here so we've got nice metal wheel sets you can see the steps there there's very little to them but they are very beautiful and we can see that hook there at the end for coupling up the buffers exactly the same on the other side we've got our step 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 and then we've got step step and step 
So that would help people getting on and off the wagon, I suppose, when loading and unloading. Um, I suppose if the railway authorities back then weren't so uh, strict, I suppose you could have a lot of people just sitting on there and taking their life at their own hands uh, for a cheap railway ticket, but I don't know. So between these flatbeds, and these open third class coaches and then if you've got the first class as well you've got quite a combination that you could be running behind your rocket locomotive um, let's have a look at some combinations just using these two coaches so there's one possible mixed combination and at the back there we've got another possible combination obviously you could run them however you wanted. There's quite a large selection of combinations you could have and then add your first class coaches in and you immediately have even more possibilities. Also available in the 2021 range and I will put a picture up now um, is a new rocket pack which has a third class, it has a first class and it has a, if I remember rightly, the Royal Mail coach. Um, whether or not you'll be able to get a hold of this Royal Mail coach separately in future, I do not know. Maybe if the demand is there, Hornby might actually produce it separately, but that will certainly add more scope to that as well. If you're wondering where my rocket locomotive is, it is safely packed away and um, I don't want to get it out until the new layout is completely finished. Because um, once it's out, I want it in a storage yard and I don't want it getting hurt. But this is the first time I've got these out. Let me know what you think. Have you got any of these as well? Have you added some additional detail like passengers? And I'm a bit curious as to what you might actually put onto one of these flatbed wagons because uh, the rocket itself in real life wasn't particularly strong and uh, this rocket in model form certainly isn't that strong. Uh, um, I would be interested to see just how much the new rocket would actually pull in the way of these new coaches. I mean, admittedly, there isn't a terrific amount of weight to these, although the blue ones certainly are a bit heavier. Um, it'd be interesting to see exactly what they would pull. So there we go, we've got the flatbeds and we've got the third class coaches. There's a look at some rocket rolling stock. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget if you haven't already subscribed, click on the round button. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch some more, there's another video at the top of the screen and there's a playlist at the bottom. See you again soon.